How you doing? My name is Ken from OLA. I'm here with my student Zach. This is a question for Daniel in terms of uh, side position against a heavy guy. Uh, we'll take a look at this position in depth. All right. Um, uh, first things first, you know, let's take a look. Something I was talking about with my student the other day, we're trying to figure it out to be more relaxed on the bottom, just in case you are in a struggling type of position, okay? I put all my weight on Zach's diaphragm. No hands, we'll just say, you know, just for uh, sake of um, demonstration here. I get on my toes, all my weight's heavy on his diaphragm, my chest. Breathe through your mouth and out through your mouth. How does that feel? Not good. It feels pretty heavy there. So what Zach's going to do is he's going to breathe in through his nose and out through his mouth. He's going to be more relaxed. This is kind of, I got this from yoga, just being a little bit more relaxed in, in terms of like panic situations, okay? So here, now breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. How does that feel? It's literally not as much air has to go in. So okay. It's slower. Enough. Okay, so it's not as much air has to go in. It's very... Um, it's more uh, relaxed. It feels more relaxed. More relaxed. I don't feel as heavy. Okay. So we'll take a look at the first one is when I have him held up top and I have his upper body clamping down on him as hard as I can. Now if he does a push up uh, bench press here, no good. No good. So I don't have his hips. I just have his upper body. So now he's going to move his feet to move his hips. Then he moves the knee in. Very simple. Okay. So next one. Underneath the head here. Just like this, grab shoulder on his chin. Here on the hip, I have his elbow stuck. So the first thing he's gonna do is bump straight up. And then he gets his right elbow out here. So now look, this space between my body, his forearm, I'm underneath his head still, he's not gonna push. Some people still like they do the bench press from here. No good, no good, okay? So he's gonna move his feet to let his arm extend. So now he moves, he moves, he moves, and now he's gonna duck his head underneath Move your feet, and then, there you go. Okay, again, your left hand's gonna come under hook. So one more time from the beginning here. I have him in a good tight position, hold here. He bumps up, now he brings the right arm in. Then he bumps out, he bumps out, he bumps out. Now his head's gonna come underneath, bring the left hand, there you go. Boom, he comes to his knees, that's a nice escape. I learned that, uh, did a lesson, uh, over a year ago with Shandri Hibeto, and that was one of his escapes against a guy who's very tight in side position. Um, we'll do a couple more things. Zach's on the bottom here. Okay, so this time I have deep control. Zach here, boom, here he goes to bump. Here, I switch, just like this in like a baseball slide modified scarf hold position. So now I put my put the pressure here, and Zach's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna hold here, put the right hand on the pelvis, not on the pants, on the pelvis, and then he's gonna move his left foot, left foot, here, and then he brings that right knee in, okay? Come back, but sometimes what happens is these guys hold like this here, so now he's just gonna move his feet all the way out, all the way out, all the way out, all the way out, and then I fall, come back. Another option is we're here, and now Zach goes to elbow escape, get lower, get lower, and then I follow with my hips. So all he's gonna do is, instead of that left foot up, he puts the right foot up for a moment, right foot up, and then he switches left leg down, and then he's gonna bump me to this side here. Good, okay, come back. So, with that in mind here, I'm on top of Zach. You should know the answer to any position from over here, please. From this modified position here because if Zach goes to come out, I follow, he knows to come here. If I, if he comes here and I move, that means there's space there. If I'm too tight here, that means he can move all the way. Good job. Okay, similar to like a headlock escape mentality. That's a lot of information. Hopefully you can take something from it. Appreciate the question. Have a good day.